Hi, it's Ashley from AB Sound Advice. Today I'm down at Aptic Audio Lounge doing the review on the KLH Model 5 floor stander speaker on the stand. So first off, before we go into the review, this is a three-way um, 10 inch acoustic suspension loudspeaker. Um, these are the legendary, the legendary um, KLH Model 5 was first introduced in 1968 and served to be the heart and soul of KLH, KLH's success throughout the late 1960s and 1970s. So it's been around a while and at its core the acoustic suspension design uh, dominated the loudspeaker industry for decades and made the Model 5 one of the best-selling loudspeakers of its era. So now in 19, well and actually 2021, KLH has reintroduced the Model 5 building on the original acoustic suspension design and using the most advanced loudspeaker technology available today. Now the finishes that they're coming, you'll see here is the, we have the English Walnut. It also comes in a West African mahogany veneer and the grill comes in a linen grill cloth and you can also if you want by custom order you can get a stonewash linen grill which is available by special order now as i always do we'll just go through some of the cool features um, it's the iconic mid-century modern styling and again it is a very nice looking speaker acoustic suspension design the most accurate and linear enclosure design available today um, and it also says it's a three position acoustic balance control so you can tailor make the output um, for the most difficult acoustic environments and I'll show you that on the back of the unit when I actually put the camera behind there. It has a designated mid-range driver to reproduce the, cl the critical um, mid-frequency um, band, a non-resonant -reson die-cast aluminium mid range and wood sorry woofer frames um, it's got a machine aluminium one inch um, tweeter face plate and it also um, is featuring a three quarter inch MDF enclosure and they're using a uh, yeah no very very nice I'm actually just looking at this myself it's got the um, obviously the, the nice tweeter there and again a low profile magnet um, attached grill and a 10 year warranty which is pretty damn impressive so just some of the specifications that stood out for me is obviously 40k sorry 40 hz to 20,000 hz plus or minus 3 db and in room sensitivity is 90.5 and i'm just actually looking at your power handling which was quite impressive it says it's 200 watts rms with um, an 800 watt peak a uh, recommended amplifier for these speakers is between 20 and 200 watts. This is another one that I do like. Um, in room maximum SPL is 112.3 dB. A serious bit of noise. I think your neighbours will be over at that point. And 6 ohms with a minimum of 3.5 ohm as its minimum. Um, it Obviously you can see it features the switch and again I'll show you that on the back. And in reality, we've got a one inch aluminium dome soft rubber suspension tweeter. And we have the mid as a four inch pulp paper cone with reverse roll rubber suspension. And the low frequency driver, we're using a 10 inch pulp paper cone with reverse roll rubber suspension and a two, dynamic, two inch sorry, diameter um, flat wire voice coil. And they're using a structurally reinforced three quarter inch medium density fiber board and the inputs uh, you'll see the binding post on the back and height wise it's seven uh, sorry 870 centimeter high including the base and 66 centimeters high with the and that was 87.0 sorry so, not a, so it's 87 cms high by 66 high without the base and we're looking at a width of 35 cm's and a depth of 33 and a weight weighing in at uh, 20 kg without the base and 23.6 width so 
very, very cool. So let's just go through. I mean, I've actually been playing with these for a while now with all different uh, types of music. And we'll just, while we're here, we'll just go down the back. So you can see here, it's got the, the tag. You come down further, you can see the speaker connection. And again, this dial here that you can set to low, medium, and high, which I think is a very cool feature. You can see the stands down the bottom, the metal, and they are a decent quality stand. And there it is, a gorgeous, and that's with the grill off. And again, that's what it looks like with the grill on. And you can see this is the um, American oak walnut, sorry. So um, very nice finish. And sound-wise, there is no argument. It's a very, very nice the voices, I mean, I can see uh, there's obviously been a lot of reviews on these um, up against, I won't name the brand, but um, other vintage speakers that are out there, and this has just been winning awards all around the world, and I can see why. It's got a very nice, warm and pleasant sound. The voices are just snap right there, and uh, really enjoyable. I mean, again, you know, I don't rate speakers 1 to 5 or, um, well, you know, 1 to 10, but I can honestly say, would I own a pair of these? Definitely. They are a sealed enclosure. So you will notice at the back there, we didn't have any port. And I do love sealed enclosures. You get a lot more. Uh, it's a very controlled sound. And uh, they really do look amazing. They sound incredible. And I've been using the, um, the Pathos um, amplifier to run them off. And they really are a fantastic sounding speaker. So you'll find that the... It's it's a very detailed sound, and remembering too that we're 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 dealing with a speaker that's from the '60s, which is I was born in the '60s, so um, it's going back a long time. And I think in this part of the world, they're around about the 5K mark. And if you're looking for more information for this, you'll find it on the klhaudio.com website um, for more specifications. But from a sound perspective, uh, wow, they really are punching way above their weight. Um, and I guess if we're comparing it to other vintage style speakers that are available in the market, these would have to be the top shelf um, for sound. There wouldn't be really anything in, um, that I can think of that would come near this for sound and quality. The build quality is just fantastic. I mean, I've got to say, you really do feel that a lot of work's gone into this, and it just represents a very nice quality um, visually speaker. Sound wise, as I said before, um, very enjoyable, very musical, and um, it's got that really nice look. And as I said, with the grill on, we come back over here, you can see here, they really look fantastic, and you really wouldn't be disappointed if you had a set of these. And they don't take up a lot of room, so if you look at your traditional floor stand, it's quite a large speaker. This is very compact, and I wouldn't want to go much smaller than this, to be honest, just me personally, but um, really, really nice sound, and you could very easily um, put a set of these on any amplifier you like and run it as a um, as just a 2.0 or a 2.1 if you want to add a subwoofer to it but uh, wow what a fantastic and in today's world if you're living in apartments homes they're very flexible and you can see here with the stand um, they really are a, it's a good quality stand too and you'll see here very sturdy they're not going anywhere and they've got a really nice tight base and the, as I said, the voices and instruments, they do a really great job. And um, if you're looking for something, and again, you know, vinyl, um, CD, DAX, whatever way you're going to be putting music through these, are, um, I found them to be just absolutely fantastic on all the um, different setups that I ran with them. And uh, I would highly recommend them. And would I own a pair? Yes, I would. There is no argument. I could very happily put a set of these in my place and... Uh, I think when I was doing the review for these, my wife was looking at these going, wow, they, they, she just loved the actual way they presented. And I think having that slight angle just makes them, again, a very nice um, look. And if I just come back now, we'll come back from a distance. So you can see there, um, they look fantastic. Um, you see one with the grill on, one with the grill off. And just to finish up with the review, we will pop the, the other grill back on so you can actually see them both. So you can see they've solidly click on, they're not coming off. And you can see there, they really look fantastic. So 10 out of 10 to KLH for the Model 5s. And again, thank you for tuning into AB Sound Advice. And if you'd like more information about this product, um, just duck on to 
the klhaudio.com's website and uh, I really think you would not be disappointed with a pair of these. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks again, and we'll see you next time on AV Sound Advice.